and we are so, so happy for her. And at this time, sister, we are so happy to know that you have come back to us here in Negril, and we are so happy to have your services, and you have brought your family with you in Negril, and we are happy for your family also. So at this time, she is desirous of being a permanent part of the Negril Seventh-day Adventist Church. Hence, the reading. And therefore, this is the final reading, the second and final reading. And at this time, if it's your desire, we're going to ask someone, a member, to move that she becomes a part of the Negril Seventh-day Adventist Church. And afterward, if that is the consensus, we're going to ask the entire church, the members of this church, to vote in the affirmative. Is there anyone that can move for Sister Parkins, the Sister Cambridge, to be a permanent part of this Negril Seventh-day Adventist Church? Anybody move? Okay, it looks like we have so many people moving. All in favor? You can look, Sister Camber. The people are happy for you. And you know, she's really our beloved Sister Camber. Sister Camber, you are no longer, as of now, you have, maybe it's the first time in your life you are going to divorce. But never. Of the earth, the cattle and everything that crawls on the earth, each according to their kind, said, Let us make man after our likeness. And let them have done fear. Over the livestock, over everything that creeps, and over all of the earth, God formed a man out of dust, out of the living things in the land. The Lord God planted a garden towards the east in Eden. And there he placed Adam to tend the garden and cultivate it. In the garden, he caused beautiful trees to grow, which produced fruit that was good to eat. God also provided care for the garden by causing a mist to rise from the earth to, the, to water the ground. And, and the river that went through the garden into the surrounding area. In the middle of the garden were two distinct trees. From every tree in the garden, you man fairly eat. But you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For if you do, you shall die. Then the Lord God brought all the cattle, every beast of the field, and every bird of the air to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever name that Adam gave each of the living creatures that became its name. Now all the creatures got You are bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, Adam said. And because you were formed from man, you will be called woman. And the woman was named Eve, for she is the mother of all the living. So it, so it was that the, Lord gave create, that the Lord God created mankind in his own image. Male and female, he created them in God's likeness. And the man and the woman were naked, yet they were not ashamed. God blessed Adam and Eve and said, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and rule over it. I give you dominance over every creature that I, have that I have created. I am giving you every seed-bearing plant and every seed-bearing fruit as food to eat. And to every beast of the earth, to every, to every bird of the air, and to every creature that crawls. In which, the, in which there is a living soul, I am giving every plant for food. And God provided man with a mate and established that, with, that when a man and his wife aunt, 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 God saw all that he created and that it was made it holy. For on this day, God rested from all his work in the creation. 
the end. What did you guys learn from the story? We, we should listen to God. We should obey God. We should, we should obey his commandments. Thank you. You shouldn't disobey God. Who wants to pray? <laughs> Dear God, thank you for today, Lord. Those who are still driving out on the road, please protect them. Lord, please do not let them have an accident or anything, Lord. Please bless the person that, please bless the Lord. Please make them raised from the dead. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. The little children, all the children of the world. Ushers come forward to receive tithes and offerings. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall also sparing shall also shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall also bount, reap bountifully. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for being here another day. Please bless us all on the offering. In the name of Amen. Amen. Deacon, no, ushers proceed to receive tithes and offerings while we have a special song by Del Sister Delisha Beckford. Happy Sabbath, everyone. If you ever Your bad. 
Scripture is taken from not burning but showing all good fidelity. They may adorn the all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and Savior, our Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. 15 and last, these things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. This is the end of God's holy word.